Thank you, Itazaku, for all the tags. This situation involves the World Cup currently going on in Qatar. I think it's still going on, right? I don't follow soccer or football, depending on where you are in the world. I guess the, the name will be different. So making that disclaimer. Also, one more disclaimer. I might have some of this information wrong in this video because details have changed and some claims have already been deleted. So just something to keep in mind as we move forward. To my understanding, it all started with this U.S. journalist who showed up to the stadium wearing a shirt that advocated for LGBT rights which got him in trouble with the government over there. The whole situation prompting the German team to make this announcement and take this picture where they are essentially claiming to stand up for the voices that are being silenced. There's another tweet right there that was cut off. My bad, you can see that. Let's scroll to the picture. And uh, the notable thing about this is the hands over the mouth, which is very important for the rest of this video. This entire situation prompting a lot of heated debate in various comments across the internet, where some people are taking the side of Qatar, essentially saying that people need to respect the country that they are traveling to and visiting, and other people saying that such should not be respected when they are not respecting human rights. And as you saw, other comments would also point out the hypocrisy of the German team in standing up for LGBT rights, but apparently penalizing in some way their player Mesut Ozil when he criticized China for the mistreatment of Uyghur Muslims. And the entire hands over the mouth thing started to become a meme across the internet. This meme, one of the most popular, apparently the German team made this statement right before their match with Japan in which they lost. So this meme basically showing the uh, difference there as one team focuses on something that's not the game and the other team focuses on the game. Here's another meme going around. Japan discussing tactics before the match. Germany discussing tactics before the match. Things start to get even crazier as this image goes viral in a tweet with over 220,000 likes reading, Japan fans are savage, we see this image. Now, I don't know if any of these people are actually players for the Japanese team or staff on the Japanese team in any way, shape, or form, or if they are all fans, but this has been going viral. Another account, Out of Context Football, simply posting the image without a caption and collecting over 308,000 likes. Some people are rather disgruntled over the entire development. Others taking the time to say that the entire country is home of patriarchy and sexism. Another tweet reading, male-dominated country with an emoji. Conversely, this comment advocates for the trolling. So yeah, as you can tell, some people like the photo, love the photo, some people dislike the photo, hate the photo, you get the point. However, this doesn't end there because things are a bit more complicated than they seem, kind of. I show you this account that has since gone into protected mode because in the thread I'm showing you, which as you can see kind of flew under the radar, um, that person who's now in protected had made claims and you can see part of the claims right here actually from this link. Now I did click the link and the rest of the thread is unreadable, but I guess it saved some of it for the preview. However, Itsuzaku provided us with this image of the tweet before it was taken down or protected. And you can see the person that made the tweet claims to be one of the people in the image and that the person in the middle is a fan that came up to them and asked them to take this photo and they had no idea what the hand position was all about. They make multiple apologies here about the whole thing as well. Ultimately, make of all that what you will because the person, as you know, has since gone into protected mode. So this could be a complete fabrication. Who really knows? But that seems to be the current situation and the context behind that image. Hope you enjoyed this segment. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you did enjoy, please consider liking and subscribing for more segments like this covered every day. And I'll see you in the comments and tomorrow for the next one.